I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? How lucky are you guys? You guys go to college in Southern California, right? It's beautiful, beautiful day today, 80 degrees. You guys are probably like sunny, whatever. Oh man. I went to school back east. <laughs> Holy shit, you know? That's cold out there, you know? The wind whips through me, nips turn to rocks, I'm cutting glass. Good Christ. It turned 50 here, and they closed the schools, you know? It's, if it ever, like, froze here, we'd have the governor coming over the radio, like, Don't worry, everybody, it was Mr. Freeze and Batman, I got the cover now. Go to college back east. I always got crap, too, because I had family that lived back east, you know? They always, they always gave me crap. They're like, come on, Marty, the cold is good for you. Put some meat on your bones, some hair on your chest. Stop being such a wuss. I'm like, a wuss? I'm from LA, okay, right? We got earthquakes and mudslides and fires and floods and riots and bloods and grits and traffic and smog and OJ and Robert Blake and Michael Jackson, Kobe Bryant, fake boots, fake tans, fake personalities. You can keep your goddamn cold. Okay, Grandma? Who's the pussy now? Got a younger sister. I just I went to her sweet 16 uh, a year ago. 16 year olds. Shit. <laughs> Fellas, am I right? Have you seen these girls? I can't tell ages anymore. I walked in there, I'm like, oh, smack, look at all these honey, they're awesome. My sister's like, these are my friends. I'm like, oh my god, my eyes are bleeding, you know? <laughs> they wear the shirts up to here, the jeans down to like their hymen, you know? <laughs> it's true. I didn't know whether to get like a camera or an alibi, you know? I was talking to this one girl one time, and she's like, Oh my goodness, I'm so aggregated, I swear. It's been such a frustrating day, you know? It's like, I was supposed to go to lunch with this friend of mine because she had a coupon, but it perspired. And it's like, she starts complaining because she's on the Atkins and she can't eat any carburetors. And I'm like, whatever, I have a fast metabolite. So, anyway, I ordered a chocolate masseuse, and I got some tea, which came with a cute little cup and sorcerer. Then she started telling me she went on some weird, wild African Ferrari, and she got bit by a bow constructor, and so they had to call the local busy physician on one of those old rotisserie phones, and you have to give her all these infections full of anti-robotics, and she was almost in a comatose. So now I gotta walk on bombshells around her, but tonight she wants to go to an art expedition, which means now I have to go out and get a manicure and a pedophile. <laughs> I liked school supplies as a kid, those things were great. I could sit there for a half an hour with my mechanical pencil, see how far I could get the lead out before it would fall, right? Oh, 37 times, let's go for 38, right? You had that pen with like the blue, the black, the red, and the green, remember that one? It was trying to get all four colors down at once. Go down, green! Never kid though. Instead you have to unscrew the top. Oh, you're free, you're free. <laughs> Rainbows. How do you even buy thong underwear for your friends, ladies? How does this go down? I can't even, I don't understand this. Like you're like in the mall or something, you're like, oh my goodness, Jessica, come here. <gasps> okay, I have a question. Whose ass do you think this would look amazing inside? Think about asses. Look at this thong, match them. I know, Michelle. Oh my god, let's get it. Because, guys, we can never get underwear for our friends, right? All right? That just would not happen at all. Imagine that, you know, that stuff, be in the mall or whatever. Be like, hey, dude, come here. Yo, check it out. Check out these briefs, man. Yo, dude, whose sack do you think would look really good? In these bri no, come on, dude, seriously, think about sacks. Look at these briefs, match them. Ha <laughs> Kevin, yeah, right, man? He's got huge balls, that's all. Awesome. Last time I was there, my favorite song came over the Muzak. I was like...
point, the manager taps me on the shoulder. He says, there's no dancing in the supermarket. Has anyone else heard of this rule? If there's no dancing in the supermarket, why do they play music? Thank you very much. I'm Marty Brown.